I'm Jacob at Tech Week with your tech tip number six. For this tech tip, you'll need to open Microsoft Word. Today we're going to show you how to make a checklist. First open Microsoft Word in a new blank document or wherever you want to put the checklist. To start off with, we're going to go up to the insert and hit tables and do two columns. Now depending how many rows you want is how many things you want on your checklist. But you should only have two columns on this. Okay, now that we have our columns in, we're going to put in our check boxes. Now some of you may already have a tab up here called the developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab, click the office button and word options. Make sure popular is selected and click show the developer tab in the ribbon. Then click OK. The developer tab is then added up here in the ribbon. Click the developer tab and click this little icon here. It's called Legacy Tools. And you're going to add a checkbox form field. Once you add that, copy it. You can use Control C and then paste it all throughout your checkboxes. Control V to paste. Now for this, we want to make it auto fit. So we're going to right click and click auto fit and auto fit to the contents. So it's only going to be as big as the contents. Now we're going to put what we want in our checklist. We're just going to put numbers in. Okay, so now that we have eight things on our checklist, you'll notice that when we go to check something off, it brings this up. And you can choose check, not check, but that's kind of a pain in the butt. So for what we're gonna do, if you're still in the developer tab, click protect document and click editing restrictions. Where it says no changes, click and change it to filling in forms and start enforcing. It'll ask you to start enforcing with a password. You can put a password in so that way this form can't be changed, like if you're doing this at an office or whatever. But if you're at home and you just really don't need a password, just hit OK and it won't put a password in. Now you can fill in the forms by checking the boxes by just simply clicking. And you can't modify the boxes until you go back in to the Developer tab, click Protect Document, and hit Stop protection. Now you can simply format your checklist the way you want it to and use it. For more tech tips and how to's visit us at youtube.com slash techweekreview. I'm Jacob and enjoy your afternoon.